uh, when you type in your um, my virtual environment uh, directory given that path over here you then you select this then you come to WSD configuration file over here you right you you click on that then you wait for it to load after it finished loading you copy this this inside and paste it over here I've already done that so you write at organ then the the name of the the, the the directory that we've we've copied from github to this place you attach it to that place then you save it and then after you finish saving you come back to python anywhere and then you hit you come to web let's quickly move this thing down come to web then you click on reload at organ reload click on this green button over there wait for it to load and then select this nice one it worked now so we can possibly go to our dashboard and type admin uh, we've already created an account called Django girls using the super creative super user so we, we write the post there is a dummy text over here called this so we will just copy this up to this side and go to that side and do that so i'll come here paste it then also click here i am learning so i'll, I'll maximize this now i am learning django and then select this and now then save and add another one then maybe Django girls go and you put the test over there control V and save so you do another one Python programming then you paste the post over here you can select today publish day now and save let's add one more this i love django all right so we save this now nice one so when you go visit the site will not be able to see anything over here so let's quickly move down to the tutorial all right so our site is live online and we can access it anywhere at all we are and now the next thing to do is to quickly go to uh move straight down 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 all right so we have to uh django url and uh, to do that you have to come to the directory um this directory where the c folder is directory my folder is up close it sorry all right then we go to my site and then look for url then we right click on it and come to sublime test so we are going to edit it with the sublime test i'll, I'll put it at the left side the right side sorry and then we have to scroll down so you can see the admin url that's why when we use the slash admin we can have access to the site and the next thing to do over there is to copy or uh just the down part this particular one url copy come to this place and then you paste it and you save it and then we come to um create so we are going to create an, another empty file in block called this so it's new and then save inside block come down to this place blog then we save it as ur url dot py inside blog then we say url dot py okay then after you are done you copy this inside
this then you come down and then add this one to it as well inside the block URL and paste that don't forget the indentation and we can save it now so make sure you save all this so we save that and then when we come to our site include is not defined okay so you can see we are having all right so there's uh, an error somewhere whereby we have to um include 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 over here include so we, we, we made some mistake we come to this place uh, my site So inside my site and then we give include 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 type include over there include URL then we save it then when you save that you come to this place um, to your and then we are getting the error that we are supposed to get which is model update has not attributed exactly Alright, so um, I said that the next thing that we are supposed to do is to um, open view in the block directory. So when we come to Django Girls, when we come to block, then we have views over here. Right click on that and then select open with Sublime Text. And when you are there, all you have to do is to paste this over there, this particular file, copy this, and then paste and don't forget the indentation then you save it and then come down and then let's check the the, the, the this thing again all right so our site is working now and we can go to this place uh, open a new tab and type on to 7.0.0.1 to extend it I mean, all right, so now the site is in, and uh, we have template does not exist at blah 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 all right so the next thing that we are going to do is to uh, scroll down 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 and now we're going to learn about introduction to html and html simply means hypertext markup language and uh, to do that we have to go to our directory whereby we create uh, a directory and create another directory in that all right so i'll quickly change directory to block and then in block we create we make directory dir then we give it a name called template and after you are done you change directory to templates templates and then make another directory inside dir then you type blog hit enter nice one so we will change directory back back cd all right so that is it and we are supposed to create a file inside called post underscore html and uh, uh, post under post underscore list dot html then you come to your text editor you open new save it and then this time i'm going to save it inside template then blog and then we save it to this post underscore list dot html you save it and then we go back to our site which is over here and then we refresh it and see nice one so there is no error anymore then the next thing to do is to play with HTML tag so you copy this HTML tag to sublime text editor where the post list dot HTML you save it and then come back to the site which is here hi there it works 
awesome. Alright, so the other, so you can learn about the HTML head and uh, and body. Now let's let's try that one. Copy this, and then we come here, highlight this, paste, save. Come to the site, refresh. Hi, hola. Hi, there. It works. Nice one. You're on track. All right, so you can uh, customize your own uh, templates with a whole lot of stuff, which will make it very interesting and nice. If you want to do, you can learn more at Code Academy and also learn about the tax, etc. All right, so the next thing to do is to copy this, all this code over here. Copy this, and then we move back to uh, the the text editor. Highlight everything, paste it, save this come to the browser refresh this nice one you can see you're actually building something here and it's looking so amazing all right so the other the other thing that we are supposed to do now is to uh, commit this to github so we we come to git and you see uh, git status status and then everything is there now and then say git add all then the dot and then we are going to and then we are going to say git status git status okay git status git status all right so after you, you you are done with git status then you type git commit m then you give the your comment to that you say change the html for for the site for the site change the html for the site you hit enter and then you say git push so when it is pushing the, the stuff to github we wait patiently for it to do that and then we go back to python anywhere console over here we, we come back to the console over here and then we type git pull So it has actually pull all the files, and then when you come back to the web, come back to this place. Let me have to copy this. And then this, come back to the web, web. Come to web setup. This place. And if you are here, all you have to do is to click on reload at organ. It's, it, what you are actually doing here by clicking the reload is actually like running the server as you do python manage.py run server so when you click on this then it automatically load everything and then we are good to go and then our, we don't need this anymore so i'll paste this here and then let's see the changes you can see all the posts that we have over here on our local server is the same thing that we can see on uh, our website created online or hosted online nice you're on track all right so let's quickly move down 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 and see what's next for us all right so you're coming to learn about the uh, django orm and the query set what is the query set all right so what we are going to do now is to come here and then we write python python manage dot py py shell all i'm doing is typing this here this line all right so after you are in the shell then let's try those few commands all right so we are in the interactive console and let's do post post dot objects object dot all to give us an error because we've not imported that so we say from blog dot models import 
post and then we can bring that again and you can see all the posts that we've created initially in the in our previous this thing they are all here now and then you come to uh, all right so so that is it so now we can create an object in our in our system so we copy this line of code now we'll be copying the course in the pasting to speed up the, the tutorial and we, we we have some error so we have to copy this and import user and when you come here we come we, we do it this way okay and now we can write user dot objects dot all so that we know all the users that we have on the account all right so the user that we have now is um django girls who and we can say assign or you know when, when we learn about the variable we assign uh count, uh like we we we've, we've assigned something to uh, the variables so we are storing the objects which contain the username to me so we say user dot objects objects dot get username username equal to django girls who then you close it and hit enter now we are good to go and then the next thing to do is to create the post now so we copy this we copy this and then we paste it here all right so post has been created and if you type this post dot object dot all it should bring all the posts inside our, our data our query set or in our database and then we can add more posts over and over and over again so we can say this we can use this query and say paste it here come on okay there is a problem with the indentation you have to know that python is very much concerned about indentation all right so so that is it we have is bringing us all the this thing so you can filter the list with uh, filter the list and hit uh, okay you can filter the list with by title etc and then um so 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 that is it and then we can do the time zone and then the title get title sa sample title and then and then we can we can we can pose that so I'll, I'll quickly copy copy this copy paste it here and then use this query copy I hit enter so it brought us all those things let me copy this one as well paste it Okay, so it's saying that we have more than one post having uh, the sample this thing inside that means i've created two posts that is having this thing so looking at the query that particular this thing doesn't exist well you shouldn't get worried about that all right so we you can do the same thing over here and over and over and over and then uh chaining the query set order by this thing time zone then publish date and then after you are done with all those things you can just type exit so that we exit the interactive console that is it, is it for now all right so we are going to quickly move to the next section which is dynamic data in templates and uh, we will do that by going to view and then we copy this 
All right, so we go to this place and then we go to view. View should be located in block. So when you bring the case over here, it should tell you that it's located in block. So when you are there, we have this already there, but then we have to add this to it. Import this, then uh, we come here. Okay, nice one. And then we, so we, okay, so for, for the sake of this, I'll copy this from here to this place. And then erase this from there to this place so that it makes things very easier and quicker for us. And then we shouldn't forget about the indentation. Then we save. Save the file. And then after you finish saving, after we finish saving that, we have to include the post. So we return this. So we, we 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 under the the, the this thing we instead of the blog post that this thing we change it and include the post in that bracket. So because of time, I will quickly do this by and copying and pasting over here. Okay, so that is it. Then save. Then let's quickly go back to our site. It's over here. Then. Save this, save okay. and I will stop this. Okay, and it has started running now. And let's go back to the site and then refresh. Oh, so we have the my second post. Okay, so let, let's quickly check that and see if so we have imported the render time zone post and then uh, post list which is post equal to post dot object filter publish date and that render post dot html post underscore list dot html all right nice 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 okay so the next thing to do is to uh, go to the post that underscore list that html over here we will have to inside the div so where the second div is so we have the first div and the second div so anything over here we will clear it so we will delete it and then paste it over here then we save then we go back to the site the site and then we refresh so you realize that we have the same thing as this and then uh, yep okay so um, we are done with the query set and then the next thing to do is to uh, input this you can you can actually put this in a loop you can just copy this now this and come to the template where the post is we delete it then we paste it there we save it and then we come back to the site refresh post update post update post update and so the post subjects one, two, three, and four. All right. So the next thing to do is to um, so inside the the div where the Django girls is in is, we copy this line and then paste it there. So we copy this and this. They come to this side and then it paste. 
you sell you copy the right thing then after you, you you save it then come to the site then you refresh it okay so we realize that all the posts that we have on our website uh, that we've created i'm um, learning django django is fun python programming etc python manage.py are all here and uh, that is wonderful so far so good this is getting more interesting so one last thing that we need to do is to quickly go to our this thing and then say git git status and then git add all and then you say git status again and then we have to git commit commit and what are we writing modified 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 templates to display post 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 from database database then after that you hit enter and then we say git git push all right so we are having internet connectivity issue now we have to disconnect this all right so i'll pause over here and continue in the next video